Hi everyone, today I'm at KD Motorcycles test riding this beautiful 2023 Kawasaki Versus 650. Last year, Kawasaki has completely redesigned the front end of this bike, also added a nice looking TFT dash traction control. And so we know this is an adventure touring motorcycle, but obviously a bit more oriented into the sport touring segment because it's got the 17 inches front wheel. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how it handles on the road, in town, out of town, on fast the roads as well on the highway with this sort of windscreen as well hand guard and obviously this has been equipped with the top box as well and it's got luggage it's fully dressed so it's got luggage as well now let's get started with a quick sound check shall we <laughs> So as soon as you actually sit on this bike, you notice that the seat is so, so well padded and comfortable. Now, given that this bike is brand new, we're gonna try it and uh, take it as easy as we can. Um, I don't know what's going on with the dashboard, but it looks all blurry, but we're gonna get on the highway here, start our test on a bit of a faster road to see how this bike likes the highway with this enormous windscreen here up front it's hopefully going to be one of the best bikes you could uh, you could have for for highway ridings About 70 miles an hour just above four or five thousand rpm uh, the bike is vibration free it's very comfortable there's no wind buffeting at speed it's very smooth you can overtake in six gear no problem at all Let's push it a little bit more i mean this parallel twin engine is full of surprises i just had the kawasaki vulcan s uh, for review if you guys are interested in watching that review i mean obviously that's a cruiser bike um, there's a link down in the description below but I mean this engine that's shared with so many bikes from the Kawasaki range now because of its flexibility if you touch the 6000 rpm you'll notice a bit more of the wind buffeting right on the top of your helmet having said that it's so stable as well at speed I'm so surprised and just how lightweight it feels as well uh, and it shouldn't be you know obviously on the spec sheets we know what it weighs you know Kawasaki has always done so well uh, keeping the balance of the bike perfect uh, and um, on top of that it's weight distribution stable at speed suspension is really well sprung uh, the seat is so plush and comfortable I'm six foot tall I am not cramped at all these foot controls are in sort of like a, a mid position I'd say you're not gonna have any trouble getting on and off the bike and uh, maneuvering the bike as well at low speed I'm sure we've got to talk about this engine a little bit don't we so it's actually quite pleasant to ride the torque curve on these bikes and it's just so the engine really doesn't suffer from any acceleration problems speed problems or anything like that it pulls away really quickly it keeps up with traffic it overtakes traffic really really well now it's time to kind of have some fun in the twisties here
Yeah, all right, I have to confess, we, I have bounced a little bit on this bike now. <laughs> Obviously, the suspension isn't meant for you to push the bike so much, you know, but obviously, I mean, the suspension is set very soft and complete stock form, and you can appreciate that because obviously people that are going to ride this bike, are going to test ride this bike, they're going to want something that is comfortable. We can tweak the suspension on this bike uh, very easily, actually, uh, up front and at the back. The Showa suspension here does not dive as much as I um, as I anticipated. It's just the back, really, I think, is where we'll need some adjustments. Obviously, remote adjustable so it's going to be very easy to do now with a bit of traffic uh, on the way to take it back to KD motorcycles we're gonna find out how it is to handle it at slow speeds as well as maneuvering the uh, tight turns and things like that and here notice when you come to a stop actually you definitely feel that it's a substantial bike when you come to a stop so what do i like and don't i like about this bike starting with the seat that's so plush and so comfortable i love it absolutely love it the wind protection is really good uh, and you're gonna find yourself uh, riding this bike on the highway more often than you think because it's actually a pleasant experience on top of that i think with a pillion it's going to be a comfortable comfortable ride as well because the seat here at the back is very well padded too and then it's handling is absolutely superb for a bike of this class. And so here I am back at KD Motorcycles, guys. I mean, I definitely recommend you come check it out. You come test ride it for yourself because there's very few things I didn't like. For example, I think the suspension setup at the back, at this needs stiffing up quite a bit for me. At the front, maybe I'll play with the preload just a bit. The Showa suspension is actually quite nice and it soaks up bumps pretty well. The only negative really is the fact that you've got to be a bit more mindful than you think at slow speeds. Suspension here at the rear, uh, I found myself bouncing quite a bit when pushing this bike a little too much a little more than i should have anyways i should say but anyways this pretty much wraps it up for me guys on this first ride review here at kd motorcycles and uh, let me know down here in the comments below what do you think about this bike what would you like to see next and uh, i'll catch you in the next one